Hey, how you doing, everybody? Hope everybody's doing all right. Y'all know it's a little difference in the voice. Got a little bit of a cold here. So I'm battling back, taking the sips of the tea as I talk to y'all. So I can keep going and get the videos out. And by the way, if you like the Gundam, definitely join us for a side to side review and comparison of a transformer on transformer tuesday so make sure you check that out but in order to check that out you got to hit that subscribe so you subscribe to the channel you see when these videos come out hit again get the marks above then you tell youtube listen i really like his videos so you give it a thumbs up and then they watch it see they're all good it's the season of giving right so just excuse the voice for a little bit here but we have a gundam but not only any Gundam, only at Target exclusive. It is very similar to one of the other ones. But this is Strike Rogue MBF 02. G U S P right there. And as you can see, it's got a little bit of a red pinkish tint. Kind of like the whites got washed with the red clothes. Right there, as you can see on him. So, he does have that little bit of a uh, different color to him, per se, than some of the other ones. And, of course, we'll take a look at the instructions, show you what they are, how they look, what comes with him, all the stuff that goes to him and he can use. Let me fold that up, put that to the side there. So, let's just take a look at the pieces. You got the shield like that other one we had the other day. So that does clip to his shield. As you can see, it does have that kind of pinkish, reddish kind of tint to it, which kind of cool, a little bit different. And of course, you got that little piece right here and kind of, boom, pushes in and clips in. It has kind of a pressure um, disc on it. His weapon. No movement on this weapon like the other ones, but... And of course, up here we have the two hands to change out the hands, which I'm not going to take out right now. And of course, like always, you have his little piece for his stand that goes on the back. And just move that to the side there. Take a sip of the tea. And we got his little daggers or knives right there. I believe they go on him somewhere, I think. Or maybe not. Is this a him or a her? I'm not too sure, actually. So as you can see right there, we'll get a little close of the paint job on them. On him, her. On the Gundam. So as you can see with the face, the really cool, cool green almost glowing like eyes on there and a little green spot up on top with his little um talents i guess you would say coming out got the red over there trying to get a good look at the paint job really cool paint job all the two-tone exclusive target stuff coming out and you can find gundams the toys and the, um the toys and the what you call it, the models if you want did this have yes so if you guys want to try that i'll hold it still for you you could try the little scanner thing see if that worked hopefully it worked out for you because we haven't used it <clears throat> and somebody said they could use it so hopefully y'all can like i said excuse the voice this week a little bit under the weather and i did a lot of stuff today so you know so he got little side pieces on his hips right here. You got the feet, of course. So let's go over the articulation and movement. <laughs> Trying to get not so much talking in. So as you can see, the feet do move and articulate, and the little shield above it. You got the knee that articulates and moves. You have these little pieces right here that give some movement there too so you have the hip movement and that aids in the movement of the hips there 
you guys see the little hip joint right there. Um, the torso. You got some movement in the torso, not a great deal. And of course, you got elbow movement, hand movement, the little shoulder pads that go up and down. It looks like this piece does go too, but it doesn't. Even the back too. It kind of gives that impression that it would move, but it doesn't. I don't know. So you do have all that that move. And the head, of course, like always, you got the up and down and everything like that. But like I said, really cool. The way they design and they move and everything is really one of the best. So. Oh, got his foot a little bit cockeyed there. A little cattywampus. So you can see you can give a lot of good different movement on him. And we can put the shield. Let's see. The shield is over here on him. So let's try to get that shield over there. Make sure his feet don't go all cattywampus again. holding the shield and then of course we can put the gun in he can be holding the guns I don't know does he hold the knives or daggers somewhere I'm just trying to take a look to see not per se I don't really see where he would hold the daggers and everything separately or like on his person let me just take a look at the instructions. God, throw them to the side, but they're right here so we could tell. No, this goes in his hands. If he wants to have that instead of the gun. So I guess when he attacking somebody, he, you know, drops the gun. And puts the dagger in his hand. So he's ready for hand-to-hand, -hand, close combat, close quarter combat. So you can get him standing like that. So kind of like he has his shield out. And he's ready to go. He's ready to go. He's ready to go at it. Ready to fight. A little hand to hand, one on one combat. And he looks all set. And of course, you could go back to the weapon, the gun. And he has that. He got the per. He's got the trigger hands on right now. So. The other hands are more for the daggers, but the hand holds the dagger anyway. But the other hand's more of a dagger hand per se. So you could have him like And he do look fearsome on that box, I'm telling you right now. He look fearsome on the box. So let's see, put him like that. And then let's get a little something something. Now we can put him on a stand on. Trying to get something. Because the other thing was too high last week. And then he couldn't stand that well. So let's get the Zippo over here. Since I have it out. The old school, old, old school Zippo over here. I want to get one of those inserts for the Zippos too. So there you can see him right there. Doing his stance. You can put him in different moves and whatnot. And he can do his thing. Hold on a second while I try to close us out here. Just got to take the tea again. Oh, got a little apple cinnamon tea, so that's good. It wakes you up. And it gets your throat feeling a lot better, I tell you that much. So there you go right there. So it's a Gundam. Target exclusive Strike Rogue. So there you have him right there. Do a little uh, zoom in on him there. So there you have it, people. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you all had a really good New Year this year. Or this past weekend had a good New Year. You guys seen all of us on Monday. So the New Year will be over. So hopefully you all had a good New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. 
So thank you again so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for the support. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for helping me make this channel, okay? And like always, have a great, great day.